Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Some of you might know I was on a long vacation. Now I'm back in Germany and I'm on my balcony right now. I had done a video before my vacation on how I prepared my balcony for winter. Today is a sunny winter day and I thought I would show you how my balcony is doing currently. So let's go. Let us first check out the greenhouse. Let me first open it. This greenhouse has not been opened for past one and a half months and the plants in there has not been watered during this time. There has been no airflow inside and I really don't know what is going on in there. I think we are going to have some early harvest this year. I didn't think this was possible at all and was expecting some dead plants here. Keeping plants inside this greenhouse was purely an experiment for me and I guess it is a success. So let us have a closer look. Here are my lettuce. This was interplanted with my okra. Okra is done and the lettuce is keeping on growing. It is doing pretty well inside this greenhouse. The broccoli is getting bigger. I was actually going to throw it away since there was no flower formation for a very long time. But just when I was going to remove it, I saw a broccoli head popping out. And I didn't have the heart to throw it away. So I thought to give it one more chance inside this greenhouse. The growth is definitely slow as it is cold and there is less sun lately. But they are holding up. The cold rabi is pretty slow in its growth than expected, but I can see the bulb is definitely starting to swell. These are my spinach. They were tiny leaves when I kept them inside this greenhouse and they are definitely growing. Here are some pak choy. Compared to the other plants, this one is the slowest in its growth. I think it needs more sun for it to become bigger. Since they have not died till now, I'm going to keep them as such and see what happens. I have some rocket salad or arugula here. Here I have some more lettuce. One of it has died so I'm going to pick it up and remove it. As you can see there is a lot of fungus growth on the soil. This happens due to too much moisture and lack of airflow. As I've mentioned before, the greenhouse was not open for more than 7 weeks. So this is expected. I'll be removing the topsoil and not water it again until the soil becomes dry. The same has happened for the one below. There are a lot of mushrooms growing on the soil which indicates too much water. I'm going to remove them. I'll keep these plants out in the sun for one or two hours every day so that there is more air flow and the soil can dry up. Let us see what else do I have in my greenhouse. The rest of them are the plants that I'm overwintering like the chrysanthemums, geraniums, roses, hydrangeas, rosemary, lavender and strawberries. The overwintering was a success for me last year with the roses, hydrangeas and strawberries and I hope it works this time too. I also have the strawberries that were propagated from the runners over here. That was all that was happening in the greenhouse. Honestly, I had no hopes that my plants would survive the cold inside this greenhouse because it is a makeshift greenhouse and 100% cold resistance is not guaranteed. But still, I think it is doing a pretty good job. I'll leave a link to the greenhouse down in the description below if you want to check that out. Now let me show you how the bulbs that we planted are doing. No news on the tulip bulbs. I think it will take more time for it to sprout. But look at the garlic. They are already putting out new shoots. Let us also take a look at the compost. These are the two batches of compost which I started just before the winter. They look okay, but it is a bit on the drier side. I'll go ahead and water them and give it a good mix.
Anyway, the green waste has disappeared, it is not to be seen and they have also reduced in volume, which is a good thing. That means composting has happened. I'll wait for a week more before I add kitchen waste again. I'm planning to put a video on how to compost in buckets soon, so stay tuned for that. I'll water my plants as and when it requires and also fertilize some of them for some boost but I'll be careful about it because it is cold outside we don't want to kill our plants to do over watering or over fertilizing. I'm also going to open my greenhouse regularly so that there is some airflow inside it. So I guess that is it. Hope you enjoy this quick tour of my winter balcony garden. I'll see you in the next. Bye and take care.